Hello everyone, this is Joseph from Talon Productions, and today we'll be looking at the Transformers Masterpiece MP50 Tigatron. Tigatron is a course from Beast Wars and is most prominently featured in seasons 1 and 2 of the show. This is directly based on his animation model, and like the other Beast Wars Masterpiece figures, features great accuracy to the show models. Starting off here, we'll take a look at the box. I've always liked the boxes for the Masterpiece figures, I think they look great. This one has pictures of Tigertron, obviously in his robot mode, and Tiger mode. Uh, you got the classic Beast Wars eye in the background, along with MP50, Cybertron Polar Scout, Tigertron Beast Wars, the long life design down here in the bottom right corner, Takara Tomy, Transformers Masterpiece, it's green for Beast Wars, and in more so the Beast Wars font, pretty cool. Got Tigertron's Tiger Mode to the side, you know, more of the same stuff. Of course, on the back, you know, you get a ton of stuff. You got stuff showing off the robot mode, the faces, the Tiger Shot, which is basically his gut cannon, uh, the fact that he's articulated, action pose, Megatron Cube Puzzle, which is a fun accessory, uh, the hacking device, the Tiger Cannon, you know, shots with uh, Cheetor and Dinobot, Beast Mode down here, along with the beast mode face which shows that you can move the eyes and then at the bottom corner here you got the you know it has the figure and all the accessories and whatnot and as we're showing there it comes packaged in the tiger mode and of course on the side here you got Tigertron his robot mode and more of the same stuff so uh yeah as with most of these pretty cool box since this is how he comes packaged we'll be starting off with Tigertron in his tiger mode so, uh, this guy is pretty big, he was a lot bigger than I thought he would be, and uh, he's got quite the chonk going on, which I love. Uh, he is mostly the sort of, um, it's hard for me to describe, sort of like an off-white color, you know, black stripes. He looks great, the accuracy is just, it's, it's awesome in person. I love that this guy has the pixelated paint look to mimic the stretch texture look of the show. Alright, so a neat feature is that he is fight stand compatible. He comes with this clear piece that has two tabs on each side here that will plug into bottom here. Here. Just kind of, of course, find them up. Press in, you know, you hear the little snaps. Bam, you got it. You got the port here. And I'm using the stand that came with Black Arachnia. As far as I know, it also fits with the stand that came with Dinobot. Um, I haven't tried it with that one yet, so I don't know for sure, but you want to take it and just you know, slide it over. Alright, so Tigertron's on here. I don't have him in a specific pose, but he stays on there well. There's no uh, balance issues. I'm sure there would be depending on the pose, but otherwise everything works just fine. Next, we'll look at the articulation for this guy, and he has a good bit. You can get him into some pretty cool poses. Starting off with the head here. Of course, the mouth does open, feeling some nice detail there in the mouth. Uh, the eyes can move, it's only from side to side. You do that by opening the top of the head, and you can just move them there. They can be a bit annoying, and for beast mode, you're supposed to have them being green, because that's accurate to the show. Uh, he can look up pretty far, look down a little bit, left, right. He's got a good bit of range. Um, for the front legs, you can move these pretty much all the way around. Uh, this is more so for transformation, but they do move out about that far. Um, then back that far, forward that far. Paws can move back that far, forward this far, and Got a little bit of that swivel action going on. The back legs, they are a bit different. Let's see, got pretty much unlimited forward and back. Be careful with these, these like to move a good bit. Can't move this too much without sort of breaking uh, you know, the sculpt, I guess you could say. This moves back, you know, up and down a little bit. Swivel, there's not too much going on with the back legs, but I think it's about what it needs to be. Tail, you can do a good bit with. Moves here at the base. It's got two pin joints here 
and one back here, and it can turn in one spot here. Then I believe there's one, yep, down here as well. Yeah, the tail is very well articulated. All right, next we'll do some size comparisons with his fellow Beast Wars Masterpiece figures. First up is Cheetor, which you can tell Tigertron, as he should be, is a lot bigger than Cheetor. Yeah. I think they look really good together. Next up is Optimus Primal. Here's Black Arachnia. Here is Dinobot. Yes, it is a broken arm, unfortunately. Here he is with Beast Wars Megatron. And lastly here, we'll go with the Lyo Convoy. My biggest issue with the Beast Mode is the way some of these panels tab together, mostly these and bits here, you can tell those are a little off. They're just really annoying to get everything tabbed together. These can come apart super easy. Yeah, so definitely watch out for that. Obviously, you could say, you know, the exposed area back here is, you know, a bit much. But honestly, I think that second only to possibly the Beast Wars Megatron. This might be the best beast form that the Masterpiece Beast Wars figures have had. Now we'll get down to the transformation. This guy isn't hard. It is a fairly long process, kind of like the other Beast Wars Masterpiece figures. I don't think that he is particularly uh, difficult or anything like that. All right, first thing you'll probably want to do just to go ahead and knock it out of the way is to lift this up and, you know, pretty freaky. Uh, you want to turn the eyes around to the, uh, the orange, turn them over, basically go ahead and split these apart, which they have a habit of doing that on their own, so whatever. Split this down the middle, remove the gut gun, just kind of put it off to the side, flip them over, Fold those down, then fold these against the rest. Then what you want to do is bring the, these forward. They're on a double hinge. Be a little careful because the hinge is kind of thin, but there you go. Then have those folded down there too. Yeah. Lift the arms up. Then you got these two side pieces here. Just fold them in. Bring the front legs outward. And you probably want to go ahead and move these back down. Bring the tiger head and the robot mode head up. Flip this guy over. The back end tabs in see these bits, but they're already kind of out. But what you want to do is lift this up and kind of push this down. And so you'll want to bring that in and then bring the rest down. This little tab here, make sure it's up and it'll tab in right there and you can kind of see it. Now to tell here, there is a specific way that the instructions kind of tells you to do everything. I just kind of pull it down like that, bring it up, and then sort of just leave it like that. It's nothing too special, and I don't really think it matters as long as it's being put in there. Two side bits here, just flip those down. All right, getting to the robot mode head, what you want to do is lift up what his head's attached to at this point point here, bring the head down, then bring this up. What you want to do is right there there's a tab on the underside here there's a slot so basically make sure that goes in and then just kind of make sure that's down. Then bring it all back. If you haven't already make sure you bring the tiger head down so it's you know covering most of everything down here. All right next up make sure there's you know, the arms are out of the way and just turn him at the waist, bring these forward, kind of make the crotch plate. I'll say go ahead and rotate these bits around until you hear that little click. Now the tiger mode legs here, they're probably the most difficult thing in his transformation. Even they're not too bad, you just kind of have to watch out for a few bits. Lift this up, fold this out, slide. It's gonna be like his knee piece up, open 
this bit. It can be a little bit of a pain to get that. Bring this up, which will simultaneously move this piece from in there. Close that back up. Then what you wanna do is bring this forward like that and rotate it. Make sure you rotate just it and not the uh, tiger foot, which will become the robot mode foot. If you can, push it down, there you go. Then here, this is pretty interesting the way this all works. You'll want to rotate this all the way around, flip out this heel, then fold in the tiger foot. All right, so what you wanna do with this piece is rotate this around against the leg, bring this up, and there is a tab, you'll see right here, there's a slot in there, tab in, there you go. All right, so a part that is kind of confusing from what I've gathered, some people have broken the figure thanks to this step, is this where what you need to do is pull it to the side and then bring in, turn it. What you'll want is you want this part facing the outside, turn that. Yes, this little tab piece is supposed to be forward. Then swivel this around. Pull that around. There you go. There's the leg. All right, there's the other leg done because it's, it's the exact same way of transforming it. So, yeah. So, what you want to do next is bring the arms down. Then the panels here, they're on a double hinge. So, uh, just bring that in. Rotate the hands around. There you go. All right, we're down to the last little bit here. I'm going to take pause, rotate them around, bring it down. You see, this leg has a peg. On the other side of this one, there's a hole. So you'll want to bring each of the tiger legs down, peg them in here. And for the last bits here, if you kept these panels here pretty much the same, you see there is a tab here. There's a slot there. So what you want to do is turn this bring it down, tab in that panel, All right, bring that through, bring this down, tab in that panel, and there you go. And here we have Tigatron in his robot mode, and this guy is absolutely fantastic. He's very accurate to what we see in the Beast Wars TV show. Uh, the colors are great. I love the white. I love the sort of you know, the matte colors left over from the Tiger mode. And of course, the sort of uh, metallic green Overall, I just think this guy looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, and now we'll move on to the accessories. We'll start off with the gut gun, which is Tigertron's main weapon. And this is how it comes stored in the beast mode. So what you want to do to transform it is lift this up, fold this piece out, put that back down, then pull out the handle. There you go. See, it's got the tabs on the handle. It's the standard masterpiece way of tabbing in the weapons for each character. You got missiles. All right, the way this works is you wanna pull this to the side and right here is the tab. And you see there's a slot. So you'll just simply want to push that on, fold it back. Ah, there you go. Tigertron is armed with his arm missiles. It's neat, it's not the best thing in the world, but you know, it's, it's cool to have it. All right, so now we'll move on to the different faces. The one that's currently on here is probably my favorite one. It's in angry or more of a battle ready kind of face. Uh, it looks good. And the way this works is kind of the usual. Just kind of slide these out. And you see, there's the face close. The first one I'll show, and this is the one that, at least for me, it came packaged with. I'm not sure if they're all the same is sort of the standard face and you'll see on each sides of the uh i guess you could say the horns or the the crest uh paint rubbed off uh, that's how it came out of the box which is very unfortunate but you know it is what it is i guess um you'll want to kind of aim the chin down first and then push it in but so there he is with that one here he is with the next one which is with the mouth slightly open and this one to me gives off a bit of a uh, sort, sort of a sad expression here is tigertron's surprised or oh my god kind of face which i love this one uh, as much as i said that the angry face might be my favorite this one 
It's, it's kind of like the MP36 uh, laughing face for Megatron. It's great for pictures and stuff like that. The angry face for Tigertron is probably my favorite for just the standard display, but this one's pretty fun. And last but not least, this is the standard face but with blue eyes, and that goes along with the next accessory, which, let me move this guy back, is this. This is a hacking device that he uses in the show. Very cool, looks neat. We got the gold prongs here, and it's, it's got tab here that will slide into the side of the head, which is here. And so now he can hack into the Predacon's base. And to further go with that as well, you get a head of Beast Wars Megatron, which looks very cool. Love the eyes on it, it looks great. In the show, when he hacked into a console, he had to sort of solve a Rubik's Cube of sorts that is Megatron's head. And this can kind of do that. You got sides of the head here, which flip around. I wish there was maybe a bit more to it, but it's pretty neat for what it is. And of course, the last thing being what I brought up in the Beast Mode, Flight Stand. This guy does feature light piping. Uh, it's clear. You can see it right there, this big clear thing. And it does shine through pretty well with the red eyes. You know, not much to it, but it's pretty neat. All right, now we'll get to the articulation, starting from the top and working down. Tigertron, his head can go almost all the way around. Just start kind of bumping into stuff so you could do it, but not recommended. Otherwise, you'll possibly scratch some of the paint and whatnot. Oh, well that came on tab. Uh, he can look up decently far. You can kind of bring his head forward and you know, he can kind of get a bit of a downward look which is cool no head tilt really which kind of sucks moving to the arms go out that far this moves down which does help with articulation which is good it's got that butterfly motion elbow bends that far there's also a swivel right here it can be a bit hard to engage just because the shoulder wants to move before anything else so there's that and obviously it's the same on each side with the arms same here with the hands where it moves in at the wrist fingers open and they swivel all the way around and then the index finger is actually separate from everything else you see there and no this isn't something i filmed after the fact i don't know what you're talking about these panels can also move out of the way so it can help you with getting even more movement out of the arms and the hands. I want to point out he does have an ab crunch. The only thing is it can be a bit hard to engage just because uh, for both my copy and for a lot of people's the joint is pretty tight. So I'm not going to do it right now. I just don't, don't want to futz around with it, but he does have an ab crunch. Here you can turn the waist 360 legs go all the way out it's pretty decent spread right there go up that far they can go up a bit more if you turn it just because of the way the the crotch is there's that bit of an angle goes back swivel right above the knee now at the knee area there's some interesting things going on because you can see this sort of disengaging right here and that is the knee joint I'm, now nothing clicks or anything, it's just it, it, it kind of looks like it's uh, coming apart, which is a bit different than how some knee joints usually are, but you know, it's pretty neat. Just because this isn't the most secure joint in the world, this does come out to the side. That's more so just because it doesn't really lock in the best, or at least on mine it doesn't. And he also has a swivel just below the knee. Now with the feet, it can turn all the way. Got a little bit of forward movement, not a lot obviously, but you know, it's there and get great ankle tilt it's awesome all right now we'll do some size comparisons with the other masterpiece beast wars figures first off we have the masterpiece megatron have black arachnia about to fall over there next we have optimus primal i think they look fantastic together we have his fellow cat cheetor big cat and little cat and last but not least we have Dinobot now this is the infinite transformations version 
So overall, you guys, I think this figure is fantastic. He's one of the best Masterpiece Beast Wars figures there is. In terms of pros and cons, he's very accurate to the show. He's maybe a bit more kibbly than he should be, mostly around the arms and some, some of the back, but that's to be expected, honestly. But otherwise, he looks great in the robot mode, articulation's great, paint's great. I've heard of some paint chipping or scratching. I don't have a ton aside from what you saw on the face earlier, and there are bits here and there, just randomly. It's mostly in the white for the robot mode. There are some parts that feel kind of fragile, like the panels on the arms. Uh, the knee joints are kind of weird the way they work. But honestly, I don't really have a whole lot of critiques for this guy. I honestly think he's just great. Tigertron was one of my favorites from the show, and getting something as accurate as it probably could be is just great. Masterpiece Tigertron is a welcome addition to the Masterpiece line, and one of the stronger Beast Wars figures that the line has done, in my opinion of course. The Tiger has some robot bits exposed, but that's to be expected given both the animation it's based on, and the design itself. Otherwise, the only real issue the Tiger form has is some limited articulation, but even that's not too big of an issue for me as everything else about it is stellar. The robot mode has similar issues, some articulation limitations and a bit more kibble, but this, again, doesn't bother me as it isn't that much of an issue and almost everything else is fantastic. If you're a Beast Wars fan or a Masterpiece fan, I definitely give this one a look. He's worth the price and has a lot to offer. This is Joseph from Tyler Productions. Let me know what you think of the figure in the comments, and please give this video a like, and maybe even subscribe if you like my content. Thanks, have a great day. I wish there was a bit more to it, but it's still kind of cool to... BB! BB, no ma'am.